Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today I'm excited to do a unboxing and setup of the new Tacticam Reveal X camera. It took me a while to find these. Finally got some. I ended up buying four of them because they're hard to find and honestly that is one con of this camera is that you know it took me a month after they actually release them to be able to find one. Um, so I found this on Bass Pro, bought four of them, just got them in. So I'm gonna do a first take on this unboxing. I'll show you how to set it up briefly. If you want a more detailed version, it's pretty similar to the Tacticam reveal, I'm guessing. So you could go back to my previous video and look at that. But we'll go ahead and go through this. And then I will also do a little bit of a comparison with the original Tacticam reveal talk about some of the differences on that as well. So we'll go ahead and unbox it. So it's got its booklet. The actual camera itself. An antenna. And the strap. So really not a whole lot in the box there. All right, so just looking at the camera itself, it's a little bit smaller, a tad but it actually seems a little bit wider than the original one. Um, and I think that's because of its new battery system and I'll show you all that in a second. As far as some specs, it has a half second trigger speed. It has detection range up to 96 feet. This one is the 4G LTE Verizon model. Otherwise it's pretty similar to the original. So things that are, seem different already is it's got this that you open up and there's no screen on it like the other one has. Um, I actually think I like having a screen but it'll be interesting to use this. It looks like it has quite a few status lights on here that can help you out with that but you can't really set up or do anything from the screen because there is none and that's a little disappointing because a lot of times my parents will go out to the property and they may mess with the camera and they don't have the app and I don't really want them necessarily to have to download the app to change any settings or move the camera or mess with it. So that may be a little disappointing that there is no screen and no ability to really do that, but it may not be that big of a deal. So a little bit about the camera. You have your IR sensors here, your motion sensor up here at the top. This is your camera. Then there's a status light an SD card light, a Wi-Fi light, battery level light, and then a connection light. So it tells you how many bars you have of 4G there. Then you have a test button, probably to send a test picture, and your typical on-off setup switch. Like I mentioned before, it has this eject button here, and there's a new battery system they're using. So. It's actually pretty similar to the cam parks that I reviewed earlier, and I actually like it quite a bit, but you push it and it comes out the bottom. So on the batteries, it looks like you still need 12 batteries, which is quite a few, but we'll go ahead and put those in there. All right, so I have all 12 batteries in there. And while I have it out, you can see there's a little spot here for a solar panel you can add on if you want to add that on as well. Um, supposedly the battery life is going to be much better because there's no screen on it. So that'll be interesting to see. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this back in there. Now as far as the SD card, it is a full SD card, not a micro. And... It actually looks like it's a pretty easy location to put in there. So we'll go ahead and slide that in. And they made the slot pretty big there so you can get the SD card in and out really easily. I like that a lot. So we'll go ahead and attach the antenna now. You pull off this yellow piece and we'll go ahead and attach it. So supposedly this antenna is much better and will get better signal. Um, it is interesting because it doesn't go left, right, or in. It literally has one direction that's away from you and towards you. Um, 
Not sure if that's really a big deal, but it doesn't allow you to kind of direct it or point it exactly where you want it to go. But we'll see if it uh, changes anything as far as connection goes. So here we have the camera. I have the batteries in it, the antennas on it, an SD card in it. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. So I'm gonna turn it to setup mode, which is the next button up. Looks like the status light is on. I think that's just saying that it's working. Your SD card, so it tells you that the SD card is actually in there and it's working well. And then this is your Wi-Fi to your phone. So that's still looking, at, I believe. Full battery signal and it's searching for a 4G network. I've already kind of gone through how to set this up on the original reveal, but I'll go ahead and show you, since this one's kind of a little different, I'll show you how, how to add the camera and I will show you how to go through some of the settings and set that up. And what's kind of cool with this one is you can use your phone apparently to actually see a live picture of where the camera's facing and where it's at. So instead of the screen, you use your phone and you can just look right on your phone and look at that. So I'm not sure if it's necessarily a pro or a con yet, but it'll be interesting to see if I like that better. I personally think I will like that better, but not having my parents be able to go in there and set it up or work on it when I'm not there is, is kind of a con to me. So you can see, here's my app. I have all the pictures from my previous cameras in here. Got some hogs and deer in there. So let's see, go to my account. I already have three cameras. So nothing's really changed with the app. So we'll go to the cameras section. You'll click add. It's now a reveal X, continue. Scan the QR code on the door to start the camera. So we'll go ahead and scan this. So I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet. I may just say test. Um, it'll probably go at the property. So we'll say Marietta register. All right, so that took a while, but it says activation complete. So let's come into the cameras, go to tests. We'll just come in here. Um, settings, so we'll go through the settings first. Camera mode, again, it has photo, picture, video. Um, image size will go up to the best image video size will keep it there uh, video length I don't think I'm gonna really do the video uh, multi shot I'm fine with just one picture night mode maximum range um, depending where you put it you may want to put balance um, battery type alkaline um, flash power high. This is if you want a time delay. If you want to put a timer on it, you can do that as well. If you want the SD card to loop so that if you fill up the card, it just starts filling up the next spot. That's typically what I keep it on. I actually don't pull my SD card that much, but I've seen all my pictures on my phone. If there's a cool picture I want to keep and put onto my computer, I'll do that, but otherwise I just keep it on loop. Settings check. Um, I'm gonna put daily. I don't if you keep if you put instant there, you're just gonna kill your battery because every time you come in here and change the settings or do anything like that, it's gonna check for these changes and will most likely kill the battery. Uh, motion sensitivity. This is kind of cool. They have nine different levels. Usually it's just low, medium, high. So this gives you a lot of options for motion sensitivity. Uh, send type I have on timely, so it'll send it right away. And check in picture. Not really sure what that means. Let's see. But let's see if it talks about that at all. It says camera settings, page eight, and just really nothing about camera settings on page eight. So I don't see anything talking about the check-in picture, but that's what my guess is. If you want it to take a picture at the next transfer, 
just to make sure it's working. Say you haven't gotten a picture in a while and you're not sure what's going on. You just want to make sure that it didn't get knocked off or something's going on. You can click on it, it'll send you a picture. So I'm gonna click apply settings. So then let's go back. So here you have the name, location, last update, battery, signal, memory, temperature, um, and then your support and settings. So nothing's really changed from the reveal on this page. So apparently there's also this new web portal. It's a, it's account.revealcam.com. I haven't used it, but supposedly you can go in there and mess with tracking your cameras, managing all of them, and setting up your pricing plans and that kind of stuff in there. All right, so I just kind of wanted to show you all the differences between the old tact cam and the new one. You can get a look at size side by side. Um, so you can kind of see you know, height-wise, they're pretty similar. Width-wise, it's a tad smaller, but again, pretty similar. And then if you look at the depth, it's kind of hard to see it, but it's definitely a little wider. And I think that's because of the battery pack they added in here. But you can see I'm sticking out a little bit further. Like I mentioned before, your antenna, you can move kind of any direction you want on this one, which is, I think, pretty nice. Um, whereas this one, it's just literally this direction and that's it. Um, but otherwise you can kind of get an idea that, you know, really size wise, they didn't change all that much. So again, like I mentioned, you know, this whole thing clips and pops off and opens. Whereas on, uh, this guy, it's just the bottom here, um, which is pretty nice. That's a cool feature and there's ants, but other than that, that's kind of most of the differences and. You know, I'll test this one out and see how I like it compared to the other ones. We're here at the property and I'm going to be installing the new Tacticam Reveal X camera that y'all just saw me set up. So I'm going to show y'all how I do this. We're in a spot where I have a existing camera here. There's a trail you can see comes right through here and goes to a watering hole over there. So I'm going to take this one down and we'll go ahead and install this guy. So they give you a pretty long uh, strap here. You don't really need all of it most of the time. But we'll go ahead and set this up. And you want to go about three feet or so off the ground typically. Kind of just depends what you have set up. And so I like to tie the excess strap off somewhere so that it doesn't get in the way. And so you can see it's pointing down pretty hard, so I'll grab like a stick and can put it back behind it to kind of boost it up some. But we'll go ahead and open up the app and see uh, if we can get connected, and I'll show you all how to set it up. So you'll want to go ahead into setup mode, and you can see the lights turning on, so your status light. Your SED, SD card is good. This is your Wi-Fi, so it's trying to connect. And then your battery, and then that's going to be your 4G network. So I'm going to go ahead and get out my You can phone. see I have three bars of 4G service here. But I'm going to go ahead and connect to the network. Go to account. I'm going to go to settings first. Turn the Wi-Fi on, pick your camera, and then we'll switch over. So you can see, well, now you can see Talon. All right, so you can see, you can see this trail, you know, let's see, down here. And so that's actually a pretty good spot where I like it. It gives you a red line right there and kind of let you level it out some, but it looks like where I put that stick is in a good spot. So I think we're pretty good to go here. So I'm gonna go back home. Now I'll go back to the camera here and we'll put it in the on position. And you've got about three to five seconds or so. We'll lock that up and it should be good to go. So what I like to do also is you can either hit okay and send like a test picture or you can just kind of walk in front of it a few times and just make sure it sends something to your phone. And once I do that and I get that confirmation that we're good to go, 
I'm pretty comfortable that it's going to keep working. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're interested in the Tacticam Reveal X, I'll put a link in the description of where I bought mine. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.